All right, hey, I'm Sean with the Tactical Medic. Uh, we're here at the 2023 SAR show. Uh, we primarily sell uh, trauma products, um, first aid kits. This is a first aid kit, band-aids and boo-boo stuff. This kit will not save your life. These are trauma kits. Trauma kits are made to deal with traumatic injuries that if they're not addressed in a timely manner, you will bleed to death or suffocate. So a lot of our products are based off of military products. Military products are made to be very user-friendly. They're made for novices. It, uh, also, they combine things to allow somebody with a very limited amount of training to do sometimes somewhat more advanced procedures to get somebody stabilized. Um, I don't sell cures. I don't sell fixes. I sell corks. I, I sell time. Um, generally, if somebody is really hurt, you're going to bleed out in like, I think it's like five minutes. Um, so you need to address major bleeding as soon as possible. And um, all of our products are made to get you that time to get to professional help. So um, one of the programs that we do a lot with is the Stop the Bleed program. It's a free program. It was developed by DHS in, I believe, 2014. And um, it was developed by Combat Medics. It's a very no-nonsense no uh, bare bones class. The minimum required uh, class for it is 90 minutes. Most people do a two hour class. We use independence training to teach the class at our store the second Saturday of every month from 9 to 11. Um, it's uh, the only time we're open on the weekends. Uh, otherwise, our store in Mesa is open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. But the Stop the Bleed class goes over the use of pressure bandages wound packing, and tourniquets. Um, and these are basically the skills that mostly what kills people in combat is they bleed to death. Mostly what kills people in civilian world from accidents, they bleed to death. So this addresses that. Um, in general, uh, the three treatable injuries in combat are major blood loss. That's where the tourniquets, wound packing, and all that comes in. Also hemostatic gauzes like quick clot and that sort of thing. Um, obstructed airways, that's where we sell nasal airways, we sell different oral airways, and then the third is tension pneumothorax. That's where your, your lungs work on a negative pressure system. If your chest cavity gets punctured, air gets in there, your lung will deflate. And it's not so much that you're suffocating, though that's not helping you any, it's that if pressure builds up in that cavity, it pushes that deflated lung against your heart, and that's what will kill you. And if you're in tension nemo, you've got about 30, 45 minutes um, before you're in real, real trouble. Um, and so we sell products like chest seals to cover the hole so no more air is getting in there. And then you can also get into like needle decompression, which um, is a little bit more of an advanced type of thing, but they can teach 19-year-old privates to do it. It's a learnable skill. Generally not something I would recommend somebody needle somebody unless you are truly out in the middle of nowhere and help will not get to you faster than an hour and in which case you can't kill the guy twice so you know, go for it but um, a lot of our products are excellent for if you're doing anything in Austria environment off-roading we sell things to guys who do guided hunts where they're dropped off by a helicopter and if the weather's bad they know you're hurt they know you're there but they can't get you until the storm passes and again we're buying you time, we're not, we're not fixing you. Uh, all of our kits are based around the idea that you are going to professional help as soon as you can. Um, one of the kits that I am uh, a big fan of, the guys at Independence are as well, is the AFAC from Riker Nylon. It's the ankle first aid kit. Um, this is my personal one. It's a little bit different than the ones we sell because money's no object for me because I own a medical supply company. Um, chest seal in this back pocket. I've got a uh, four inches Rayleigh bandage with uh, packing gauze. I've got a pair of trauma shears. Um, again, I carry quick clot in mine because I don't care about price. Um, I'm not really probably doing anything in my personal life to justify the quick clot if I didn't own this company. But uh, also on the tourniquet, I'm using a Esmark bandage for a tourniquet. It's very similar to the SWAT tourniquet. Not my ideal tourniquet, but I'm not, at this point in my life, I'm not as worried about having to 
work on myself as I am another person. Um, with that said, that is a, uh, on this, you can wear it on your ankle or like if I'm wearing shorts or anything like that, it's nice because it holds everything together. I can also use it on a strap of my backpack or the, the grab handle in my vehicle or anything like that. So it's, it's a very versatile uh, item. I, I know the independence guys, they wear two in a lot of cases. One's full of medical and the other one's full of uh, other items um, that they might want. Sometimes like uh, firearms related or, or additional medical items or whatever. But so our kits all revolve around the same core principle of a tourniquet, uh, pressure bandage, packing gauze, tape, and gloves. You can use tape to make a chest seal if you don't have an actual chest seal. If gunshot is something higher on your worry list, you know, buy a chest seal. You don't want to play MacGyver while, while the clock's running. But um, so, like I said, all of our kits, same principle of gauze, gauze tape, gloves, bandage, tourniquet. So these two kits, are basically the same kit. This is our Econo kit. This is the bare minimum kit I could put together and give to somebody I actually know and not feel like I left him to die. Um, this is our civilian trauma kit. Basically the same kit with a better tourniquet. It's got the Gen 7 cat tourniquet, which is used by the, the military. It's also the preferred one for law enforcement and EMS. And instead of the big fluffy roll of gauze. It has a nice little compressed roll of gauze. Same size gauze, same capacity, just packs a lot cleaner. So most of the cost difference on these kits is that tourniquet. Um, the thing with tourniquets, ideally you want to use a windless tourniquet. The military uses these three tourniquets here. Um, You've got the, uh, I think it's the Gen 4 of the Soft T, the Gen 7 of the Cat, and the TMT. Um, the Soft T is probably the most robust tourniquet we sell. It's made out of basically like seatbelt material. Uh, I think the Cat is one of the easier ones. Part of that is because I just have more training time with it. Um, but with a windless tourniquet, you're using Archimedes principle. So my daughter, she's very petite. She might not, and I'm a larger fella, if my, uh, my femorals hit and she's got to tighten a tourniquet down on my leg, that lever is going to give her the ability to do that with less strength. These tourniquets here is the TK4 and the SWAT. Um, they are uh, basically plastic, you know, elastic bands. Um, I don't like these for primary tourniquets generally, um, especially if you have to try to put it on yourself. It's a, it's, can be tricky if you haven't put in the time training with it. Um, but like my daughter, almost no way would she be able to, to pull enough strength on that to shut down one of my arteries. But these guys work very well on veterinary and pediatric because with some of the windless tourniquets, you hit a point of vanishing returns where it won't close down. When she was eight, she was just a little twig of a thing and I don't know that a cat would have shut off her brachial artery if it had been cut. So that's why like Mesa Public Schools uses SWAT tourniquets and cats in some of their kits, or I'm sorry, Tucson, TPD, uh, Tucson Unified School District. Uh, Mesa Schools though also uses the, um, the SWAT, again, because they're dealing with some really small possible people. Um, so, I mean, that, that's your different tourniquets. One thing with tourniquets, and that's why we did this little sign, you want to make sure that you're buying legitimate equipment. There are a lot of, this is the Gen 6 cat tourniquet. This version, there are a lot of knockoffs. There's, I know, I can, I know of at least four people at the gun show today that are selling the Chinese knockoffs of this. They do not hold up. They break. You are, best case, you are flipping a coin to see if this thing is going to work or not. Uh, you, there are tons of videos of guys in the Ukraine where these things have failed and guys are dying. So you want to make sure that you buy your equipment from a good source and that you have an um, amount of training. Because why, why this is so terrible with the knockoffs is you've got somebody with limited to no training. They don't know what to do when the tourniquet fails. And of course it fails after you've built up a good amount of pressure behind it. So you get a nice big gush when it pops. So 
not having the knowledge to follow up on that, you know, is that's what it's going to get you. Um, our kits start at 25 and they go up to, I can sell you a thousand dollar medic bag that basically is the same thing that a combat medic would carry in combat. We can custom order kits, we can custom build kits, um, but uh, like, you know, best thing I can, I can give you is the thing we don't have, and that's the training. So beyond our free class, you know, really it's get yourself, you know, knowledge. So, because with, with the right amount of knowledge, I can take somebody's clothes, cut them up, and I can do most of the things that my kits will do. But again, I don't want to play MacGyver under the clock, but if I have to, I could. But um, as far as, like I said, on the kits, it's a rabbit hole with no bottom. You can always want something a little bit better, you know. Um, any one of my kits is not as good as an ambulance. Any ambulance is not as good as a helicopter. A helicopter is not as good as the ER. You know, an ER is not as good as a trauma center. I mean, there's always that going up. Um, but what my kits do is get you onto that ambulance and maybe get you to the helicopter and get you to that trauma center. So, um, like I said, Sean with the Tactical Medic, uh, thetacticalmedic.com. We have a web store. You can sign up for the class on there. Bleedingcontrol.org is the national program for Stop the Bleed. The usually fire departments and hospitals will uh, host classes all over the country.